Hi, I'm at the Access All Areas Portsmouth Music Experience and shortly I'll be speaking to Nigel Grundy who's the curator of this exhibition. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Um, so Nigel, what made you want to set up this exhibition? Well, the Guild Tour has been run for the last four years by the Portsmouth Cultural Trust and their aim is to open up the Guild Hall as an entertainment resource for the community. And two years ago, uh, they asked me, Dave Allen and Mick Cooper, who have been around in Portsmouth since the 60s, and we've got quite a lot of musical knowledge, to um, set something up. So this is the result of what we're doing. And how long have you been involved with music? Uh, early 60s, I suppose, I used to come down here when the Beatles played. I was never, never lucky enough to get a ticket. And then later on, Probably like most young people, I spent a lot of time going to um, clubs in Portsmouth and round about 1966, 67, I wanted to do more than just go, I wanted to photograph people. Um, and the only way you could get into bands was to have a press pass, and I didn't have one. So I made one with an old John Printing Bull, John Bull printing outfit and a bit of green card, put in a little wallet and went up stage doors everywhere and showed people and they thought I was from the press and I got in everywhere. So what's your favourite part of this exhibition? I suppose, um, being a sort of 60s person, this, this room, really. Um, and this the, is the Pompey Pop Room? The, yeah, well, it's, yeah. it just sums up, well, we, yeah, we call it the, the 1960s gallery. It's, it's about Pompey Pop. Um, but, it, but it sums up um, how I feel about Portsmouth. Um, how do you feel the golden age of music in Portsmouth is, re is represented by the modern day? Um, well, I suppose... Um, Maybe tribute bands. I mean, the King's Theatre has a lot of tribute bands coming, people like Jerry and the Pacemakers. Um, all the early 60s stars that are still going still go there. Um, there's a lot of small venues in Portsmouth that are still taking, um, not any tribute bands, but people coming back and doing it again, yeah. Um, so why do you feel that Portsmouth wasn't able to maintain its musical status? The, the bands are coming back here. Oh, okay. there, was a period, there was a period when they didn't come to the Guild Hall, mm -hmm. um, but since the Cultural Trust have been running it, they're boosting this up again. A lot of big bands are coming back here. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah. good. Mm. So what sort of people do you hope um, will come to this exhibition? Well, it's been running now for, I suppose, nearly two years, and it's, it's not so much of a hope of, as who we are seeing. Um, we're seeing a lot of young people who are into um, 60s bands, 70s bands, retro sort of stuff. Um, and we're seeing a lot of people uh, of my age group who are coming back to relive old memories. Um, what are your future plans for this exhibition? Well, the Tommy exhibition that was only here temporarily is now going to be here permanently. Um, Tommy was filmed, to the uh, Who Is Rock Opera Tommy was filmed in Portsmouth in 1974. And we have uh, an exhibition of memories of people that were extras, and that's been very popular and we're retaining that, and uh, it's coming into this room. And um, what was your personal highlight of the music in Portsmouth from the 50s to the 70s? I suppose two or three, really. I mean, I, the South Pray Peeves have a lot, of good, a lot of good bands there. And probably at the Guildhall, two of the biggest things that happened here was a thing in 1967 called the Dance of Words. Well, there's a lot of main bands came here, and John Peel was DJing, and uh, it was a very good occasion. And the next year, Jimi Hendrix played here with Pink Floyd and The Move and uh, Amen Corner. But yes, I think those evenings are close to a lot of people's hearts and, and mine. Um, and one last question. Yeah. What was your favourite venue to attend like back in the day? My favourite venue? Gosh, I used to go to all of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose the correct thing would be to say the birdcage in Eastney. Um, but I also used to spend a lot of time at Kimball's. Um, and another place called the Indigo Vat in Hampshire Terrace, just down the road, which is now called Scandals. So I think the Indigo Vat, those sort of places, yeah. Well, mm. thank you so much for your time today, um, and back to you guys in the studio.